Years ago, I, during the summer, I would attend Mass at the downtown chapel in Steubenville, Ohio. And uh, one day after uh, the liturgy, a young lady approached me and asked me if we needed a social studies teacher at Madonna. She said, I really know a good guy who would fill that bill. So I said, okay, how about giving me his address and uh, I will send a letter to the principal who happened to be in New Jersey at the mother house at that time. So I did and the, the nun wrote back to Bill and said, yeah, we do need a science teacher, uh, you're hired. And I did not get to meet him until he arrived at school. And we've been colleagues and friends for over 40 years. So I do think that he is where he was meant to be. Bill Barrett and I have gone back a long way. I was in his first class at Madonna back in 62. I'm very honored to be able to speak in his behalf. And I just uh, think that the choice of him receiving the Bishop's Cross is uh, very commendable. He's well worth it, and well deserving of it. He emulates what a Catholic educator should be. I can't say enough about the longevity that he has you know, put in in Catholic education, and Madonna has been fortunate enough to have all those years. Having Mr. B for history class, it's always a treat, you know. Once you can decipher his writing, then we learn a lot. You know, we're always doing stuff every day in his class, and he always makes us laugh. It's just a real treat to be in his class. He's it's just a nice man, you know. Someone, if you needed anything, you could go talk to him. You could be comfortable. He's so funny. He's just a nice guy. I've known him for over 40 years. Uh, I had him as a teacher in high school, and he's the one that set me on the straight and narrow, and he's the first person I really can say as a teacher was concerned about my welfare and what I was doing. So I owe a lot to him. It's, it's long overdue that he receives this Bishop's Cross. I can't say enough about him. All I can keep saying is it's long overdue that a person of his magnitude is able to receive this award. He is, he's a good person, he's a good uh, husband, he's a good family man, and he, he is always there for you. Well, a very good congratulations to uh, Mr. B for receiving uh, the Bishop's Cross. I have been part of the Madonna community now. For, this is into my third year, and I see him most regularly at the morning masses. He is always praying for our bishop, always praying for our alumni, and for our school community. Uh, he doesn't do that for show, but he's very, very connected to his Catholic faith and our heritage. And you can see by the years of his service at Madonna, uh, we couldn't have asked for a, a better witness of what it means to be a Catholic man for our school and our students. Mr. Barrett is, is definitely a legend at Madonna High School. This is my first year at Madonna High School, but growing up in Weirton and, and knowing a lot of people from Madonna, you, you hear the stories uh, of, of the legend of B or, or of B. Uh, just, I, I've never heard anybody say a bad word about him, and it's real unique having been at Madonna for 47 years, Mr. Barrett's had the opportunity to not only teach children of former Madonna students, but grandchildren of Madonna students. And, uh, you know, this year I know he has a couple students who are third generation students at Madonna that he's had the, pr the privilege of, of having in class. Just a wonderful teacher, a wonderful man, and it's just a, a privilege to have him on our staff at Madonna. It's certainly a great honor. It's the biggest honor I've received from the church, so I'm really happy about that. Yeah, I was surprised. I was just kind of taken back by it. The one that shocked me this year when I ended up with a little girl I have in class right now, and I had her grandmother and grandfather in school, and that was uh, started in, in the 1960s, so it's been the 47 good years. I think I was meant to be here. You know, I've gone through the generations. My, the oldest student right now is 60 some years old, so just, you know, and, and the youngest one is 14 that I'm dealing with right now, so. And it's been a good time. Uh, most people change jobs, I'd say. They tell me five times, you're probably gonna change your jobs in a lifetime. It's unusual, I guess, to be in one job all those years. I've got a letter in the mail from the nun who was a principal, Sister Adelaide Williams, sent me a letter 
and uh, said, uh, your name was given to us as uh, an applicant for this, would you like to apply for the job? And I thought, I don't know who, where Madonna is, and then I, I looked into it, and uh, lo and behold, I went and got the interview, and 47 years later, I'm still here. <laughs>